Well, you've seen me before, uh, prior to my surgeries. My first surgery was now a few weeks ago, and that was my top half two thirds for the upper, upper bone structure. As you can see that I've had the, uh, the forehead lowered. It was significantly receding, and to be frank, I did not expect this much advancement of the forehead. I'm incredibly surprised by how much Bokusaga have been able to achieve. Uh, I had a very hooded pair of eyes, So you can see just there that uh, they've widened right up and made an, a profound difference to the upper portion of my uh, face. The nose beautifully trimmed down. Uh, the tip's still a little swollen. It's going to be for a while. The noses are like that. Um, but based on previous evidence, I have every expectation that the nose will return uh, down to its smaller size and then continue to shrink down to a lovely smaller slender shape. Uh, then of course the next major work is, is the jaw. That went really straightforward for me. I had moderate swelling. I got out, I was uh, busy walking as much as I could right after the surgery and uh, within about four days the swelling came right down and I was feeling just great. And uh, it, there's still a bit of swelling to go. But about two days ago, I woke up and I could see for the first time uh, the cheekbones beginning to show and a bit of shape falling back under the chin, which was really encouraging after seeing nothing but swollen jaw for a couple of, well, actually for about a week. So it's tremendous to see things happening. Uh, it certainly made me feel a lot more positive and I'm, I'm heading back uh, knowing that uh, the progress is still happening. Obviously, right at the start, we did a little video about um, my sort of goals and my hopes and aspirations for FFS. Um, and we went into a little detail about how I prepared myself, um, basically thinking about everything that I could do before I came on this trip to make sure that I was ready to talk to Jane, to talk to the surgeon, communicate um, exactly what I wanted to get out of FFS. So we'll talk a little bit about surgeries now, um, starting from the top. So we began with the hairline. Um, my main concern with the hairline was not to bring the center point too low, um, but I obviously wanted to address some of the male fat and baldness. We went in and you get markings on, on, on your face. And I, you know, when I saw in the mirror, I was astonished that you could just see all of the you know, the masculinities there highlighted. And I was asked whether I wanted to keep my widow's peak and I decided yes, because I thought it would be a nice little quality. But I was just astonished at how much the um, male pattern poredness, the, the receding part has been brought forward. Um, so now it's just lovely and round and there's no need for you to have any um, any hair transplant as well, which is great. Uh, yeah, I look the best I've ever looked right now. Uh, next was the brow and I had a type 3 brow boss. So, the front bossing was actually removed. Also, whilst we were addressing the brows, I had my orbitals shaped.
I was quite familiar with the surgery before I went in. The team took some photos and videos of the surgery while it was happening and I've actually seen them and I'm just so pleased. It's just absolutely perfect. It's it just it just neatly slotted back in there. It's just lovely and smooth as you can see. And also my nasian of my nose was taken back. So it's just it just creates this perfect S, really. And again they they would they I was quite hooded so um I didn't I didn't really realise that I was as hooded as I was. But there's an there's that was a big change to see when I came round is just how smooth it all is and it's just yeah, I just couldn't have asked for anything better really. Um so then moving down we then moved on to the nose. Um the nose was something that I really wanted to make sure um, that I got right. I asked to have a nice, like, I, did, I didn't want an S slope the whole way down. I did want some strong strength left in the bridge, but just a, a more feminine profile. And I asked to have, like, some definition in the tip to remain if it was possible. I had quite a bulky, cartilage like, bulbous tip. And, um, yeah the team were able to reduce that down, pinch it slightly up and give me a nice strong nose bridge and I'm just absolutely over the moon with it. Like it's it's just perfect. Um so then in that in that same surgery I had um cheek implants which were put through two tiny little sutures in inside the mouth and they're fixated with two little titanium screws each. And that was one thing that I was, you know, I'd learned a little bit about how cheek implants work and I wanted to know which profile was going to be used in my case and we went for a combined Mailer shell which um, just adds some nice volume here to the profile so I was quite happy with my cheekbones they were quite high and prominent and I liked them and it was a feature that I wanted to remain um, but I was just concerned with looking quite hollow in the mid face um, so yeah the team just knew exactly what would be appropriate and they they ache, they ache for a couple of days afterwards, but they're set in now, and it just feels I can feel no difference. Now to maximise the benefit of the work that's been done, especially on the jaw here, I've had a full facelift. Looking at the suture lines, they are amazing. They really are fine. You can see that there's very little there, uh, front end, back, top. It, the whole area is so delicately done. And I have so much confidence in the outcome of this work. So it's day seven, um, day seven after the first surgery. And as you can see, it's cut, the, the swelling has come down massively 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 um today i had my nose splint taken off um which was the one that i left surgery with and jane cleaned it all up for me and she's um put on a new um more permanent aluminium one um i did get to see my nose and i've seen my hairline come into shape as well it's it's really happening so quickly and also during this um, recovery period I had laser eye surgery as well so I've just taken off my protective glasses to film this video and um, that was just honestly it seems too good to be true so far I hope I don't get any gritty sensations or anything now but um, yeah so I would I would say if you're thinking about that while you're over here that is just something that is, is miraculous I think <laughs> When I left laser eye surgery, I was given these beautiful Louis Vuitton-esque um, sunnies, which you, you just have to wear, and it sits over the nose cast. And James even popped a little bridge on, so it just sits nicely, blocks the sun out, and that means I've been able to get my exercise as normal. There are a few days in the middle of the year where it was difficult to see where the, the progress was going to lead, and I needed a bit of encouragement along the way. But um, we're there, um, coming out the other side, 
uh, I've got the swelling down. Obviously my face is looking a little bit worse for wear because I had CO2 laser just last night. So apart from caring for that and the chin strap off, uh, things are feeling a lot more normal. One, one big insecurity for me, aside from masculinities, was also how that was coupled with um, some large asymmetries on my face. I had like a very wonky face um, and I'd already been told that you know, it was going to take some quite major surgery if I wanted to just sort that out and that it could be best addressed by feminization and sort of you know doing the two at once and it turned out to be you know better than I could have imagined so I'd recovered for about a week before I went into the second surgery and I'd not been through anything like this before so I was quite I was I'd say looking back the first surgery was definitely the easier one of the two but it's, I'm just, I'm just astonished, honestly astonished at how quickly the human body can turn things around. Surgery two, which was, uh, I had a, I had a jawline shave, um, to basically just like adjust the flare of the jaw and to correct quite a prominent misalignment that I had. Um, this side of my face had grown longer um as there was more distance between my ear and my jaw angle than this side um due to a growth defect and the midpoint was just not quite central so the jaw was actually crooked i think it was partly to do with growth and i had corrective orthodontics when i was younger um so i had a good bite so i didn't want to compromise my bite but um basically yeah it was just it just worked perfectly um in in conjunction with the chin as well the chin was um nothing was no height was adjusted the chin had basically stayed the same it's just been feminized beautifully and brought into a central portion with my nose which is now straight as well they performed a little procedure um to remove some of the fat in the fat pad underneath and I also had a smash neck lift, which was, um, it's just a couple of sutures around here. Um, not a facelift, not a full facelift, but just the lower part in conjunction with this, the removal of this fat pad. And then with wearing chin straps to keep that nice and tight during healing. And I've taken it off now, um, but it is, it is really wonderful. And there's just, you know, the, there's a, couple, there's a couple of little sutures behind the ear, which you just would never see because they're placed just underneath the hair and they go round underneath the earlobe and stop at the bottom of the tragus here. And to the outside eye, no one would ever notice. I can hardly even notice now when I look in the mirror. And it's only been one week, which is remarkable. I had a little bit of ache after fat transfer, which was taken from my thighs to fill out the temples and to fluff up the lips um, and also the cheeks as well, just around where the uh, nasolabial folds are. So that was taken from around the, the thigh area. So I've just been sort of stretching around there to get everything flowing back again. And um, it's been two weeks and I'm feeling fantastic already. There's still some swelling. The swelling is mainly dropped down to uh, where the when the chin strap is kept now. Lastly, in the first surgery, a lip lift was done, and for me, I already had a nice cupid's bow, but I just wanted a little bit more flair and a slightly fuller lip because it was quite pointed um, in the centre. But I hadn't got much volume, so that was achieved through just an outer lip lift. It does look quite puffy around here. Obviously everything looking a little bit new and fresh, but I know that in in six weeks, you know, I, I feel like I'm just gonna, if things keep going the way they are now, I'm just gonna be on the right track, yeah. Uh, the second surgery had not me quite a bit actually. Uh, all the swelling came down to my uh, jaw and especially my lip, which is still sign, showing signs of um, 
spelling now, but it has improved in no end. So, did I achieve what I set out to achieve? Absolutely. And more, and more. Um, one point I didn't even touch on was that I had some breathing issues as well, which I didn't really know about, because um, I've lived with them my whole life. And I think it's been a really, a really prominent highlight of this trip is that I had some breathing issues corrected um, during my rhinoplasty. So I had a bony growth that was going all the way across the right side of my sinus cavity, which I'd just been living with and hadn't known about. Um, so that was taken out as well and, and uh, that's really one of the benefits of coming here. I spent a lot of time weighing up what I wanted and I knew that I wanted full FFS and that I didn't want to compromise on anything, um, which left me with less than a handful of options really and I was looking at the quality of work with those options and I didn't want to have to make an exception and say well I think this part and this part's the main things that are going to make me look feminine. I really wanted the whole package because I wanted to feel like I didn't have to revisit this and um, ultimately that led me here and I'm just so glad that I made that choice. An important part of my decision to go with pre-med was looking at previous testimonials and when I was deciding I was like that's something that I really want to do if I'm happy with the experience and I'm um, pleased and I you know I've achieved my goals which I feel like I have then I I said to myself it's important that I um, give back I think that because it was genuinely such a huge part of my decision making was watching what what was available on YouTube and they were some of the most honest and raw experiences documented by um, a provider that I could see that wasn't fluffed up. It was just girls who were obviously recovering from surgery in front of the camera talking about their experience. So it's been an extraordinary trip. Uh, there's been ups, there's been downs. At the moment, uh, it's just feeling like things are really progressing in a fabulous direction. I couldn't have even prepared for how amazed I feel and um, catching my flight back to New Zealand this evening and um, I'm pretty excited about that so from the bottom of my heart I really want to say thank you for your mad. Uh, so I'll update you in a wee while with uh, how things are settling down and continuing through the healing process oh, that's quite good uh, that's